last thing I want to ask you about is unmanned aerial vehicles and drones, and we seem to be seeing more of that in the news. Uh, we're even covering it in our magazine, and we've seen other magazines as well, kind of injecting that into the equation. I don't think we're all quite sure how to handle it. What, how do you feel about the, uh, the UAV issue and how, how, what helicopter operators should or shouldn't do? Is it going to impact us at all? Like it's going to impact us very much in multiple of ways. And, you know, I mean, in my youth, I was a model aircraft kid. So, I mean, I, I kind of like this technology. But when I did it, you were actually tethered to the model airplane with strings right. and sat there and went around in a circle. You come a long way. But the reality is that this technology is here. It's in an advanced state. The military has basically developed it over all these years to a heavy, a really, a, I want to say, a high level of proficiency and accuracy and mission completion, you know, success. So now it's into the civilian community and it has a lot of great potentials to do a lot of wonderful things. The two key elements of this are, number one, safety. It has to be integrated into the national airspace system safely with all the other vehicles using that airspace. And that's and we're certainly going to promote that to the highest level. What does it mean for helicopter operators in particular? It means that those vehicles that are unmanned vehicles are actually going to have the capability and do right now as we're standing here to do missions that helicopters currently do. And some of the examples to that are aerial applications, uh, electronic news gathering, uh, aerial photography, movie making, uh, you know, those kind of things where they're, they can be operated safely in, in a controlled environment and, and really deliver uh, maybe a unique service that you can't do with a helicopter. So what would a helicopter operator do if they were smart? If I was still operating, I would be developing a division in my company for unmanned vehicles right now. And the logic to this is quite simple. Who better than helicopter operators to operate these because they're going to be operated at low altitudes, potentially outside the national airspace system, in utility type missions or missions where the vertical lift capability of the UAV is going to be the prime advantage. Who does that right now? And Us. the operators are already rubbing shoulders with those clients as yeah. we speak. Well, that's the whole point is. I think, it, I think if we look at this the right way, this is a, a potentially a great opportunity for this industry to be able to go to your clients and say, I have more capability to offer you, and maybe at a better price point, and supplement that with our existing helicopter operations we do for you, and we are the one-stop shopping for that type of uh, vertical lift uh, aerial applications that you might want to use for your benefit. So, I mean, we're supporters of it. And uh, we think that uh, the industry is really going to benefit from it. But I, I must emphasize at the highest level, it has to be properly regulated and the proper safety protocols put in place. And I think we're all going to enjoy this in the future. I really do. Not to add a negative connotation at all, but you know how us helicopter folks are not, uh, we, we don't like change all that oh, much. Yeah, yeah. And, and this has really been a rapid change. Sure. So the question is, is will the helicopter operators who love their helicopters. That's sure. what we know, right? I, that's, that's, I agree. Will they be able to embrace that technology and, and add it to their business? Because some may say, that's way outside my area of expertise. I don't even want to go there. Your suggestion is you need to go there. Well, here's, here's a simple statement. They're here. They're going to operate. They're going to supplement what existing helicopter operations are right now. Do you want to be the person doing that, or do you want somebody else to do that? Right. Simple question. Right. I'm for doing it. So, we're well, looking forward to it. Well, I certainly appreciate your time, and I yeah. wish you all the best of luck oh, okay. in putting the show on. I know this is a massive amount of work, and your team yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, does an outstanding job doing it, and we'll see you yeah. on the show floor.